In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to start up the i4 Active Vibration Isolation System. The delivery contains the isolator, the power cord and the power supply. In case you stored the system in a colder environment, please allow it 2 to 3 hours to adjust to room temperature until starting operation. Set up the system on a stable, rigid and flat surface. The floor of the operating space should be free of any soft covering. Please note that the proper support structure is essential for obtaining the best possible isolation performance. To proceed, connect the external power supply to AC power and to the i4 system. Center your application on top of the i4 and ensure that all cable connections are properly strain relieved. Furthermore, the footprint of your application should not exceed the dimensions of the isolator. Turn on the power switch on the front panel of the system. Subsequently, press the load adjust button to start the automatic load adjustment. Now you can hear the motors of the load adjustment. As soon as the stepper motors stop, the process is completed. Since even light touching could be detected as changing loads, we recommend to turn off the load adjustment mechanism to avoid any sudden readjustment at a disadvantageous moment. Push the isolation button to start the active isolation. It's up to you whether you constantly run the isolation system or only turn it on for actual use. If the load doesn't change, there's no need for readjusting the system after turning it back on. When doing so, the system starts isolating once the initialization is finished and the blue LED remains steady. For transportation purposes, the i4 system has to be locked. Press and hold the load adjust button for approximately 4 seconds until the LED turns red. Once again, the process is completed when the motor stops and the top plate is not movable anymore but properly locked. 